here. Six. You clear tier six. No one clears tier six, even with the debug tools. Hey guys, Dan Sixty back with another Starfield guide. Very early on in your Starfield journey, you'll arrive on the planet Jemison in order to talk to Constellation. A short walk from the lodge is Mast, the large tower in the center of the city that houses the UC headquarters. In order to join the UC Vanguard, you have to pass a flight exam and get through a probationary mission. The flight exam is a test in a simulator to see just how good of a pilot you are. There are six tiers or waves of enemies you can defeat, though you only need to pass tier three in order to pass the exam. Maybe you've clicked on this video because you've tried your hand at the flight exam and can't quite pass the last tier and want to see what happens if you do. Well, this is the video for you as it does exactly that as well as tell you how to beat it and if it's worth your time. Before we start, be sure to let me know below how far you got on your first try. I have a ton of Starfield content on the channel, so be sure to sub and hit that bell. Trust me, it's worth it. So first, how do you complete tier 6? Honestly, it's a mix of luck, skill, and a lot of skill points into the tech tree. Piloting, energy weapon systems, ballistic systems, missiles, and shield systems, targeting systems, they, they all help. No matter how good of a pilot you are, you're in space. You can't really dodge their weapons for long. Here's the facts. You're going to have a next to impossible time beating tier 6 without a sizable investment in tech skills. So if you really want to beat it, you'll have to come back when you're a higher level. However, there is something that can help. If you enter this console while the exam is in progress, you can access the debug menu. It lets you boost your combat prowess and gives you an ally to help out. Stick around and I'll show you what happens with and without using the debug menu. So ultimately, is it worth it to beat the combat simulator? What are the rewards? Let's find out. Okay, find your way to Mars Vanguard and talk to Commander John Tuala. He'll direct you to the elevator and then hit every button on your way to the flight simulator as you'll discover more about the story. When you arrive, get in the sim and complete as much as you can. If you leave at tier 3, there's no shame in it. You'll exit, talk to the commander and receive no real bonus. However, if you leave at tier 4 or 5, you'll receive a signing bonus. Here's what the commander says. So these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? Then let's get to him. So, looking at the data, hit every mural in the orientation hall, huh? A test of preparation and thoroughness. To trace the Vanguard values highly. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier four, not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the sim too. I can tell you that way were some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. Hell of a job. I might even let you fly me around sometime. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... 10 years service. Pretty standard for combat assignments. But your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a signing bonus. Help convince you to join the cause. 10 years might seem like a long time, but it's worth the climb if you wish to become a citizen. And once you accept the oath and join, you'll get the bonus in the form of credits. The credit amount is based on your character level. In my case, at around level 40, I got 11,300 credits for tier 4. Now let's see what happens if you beat tier 6 while using the debug menu. Well, let's get to it then. So, looking at the data, hit every mural in the orientation hall, huh? A test of preparation and thoroughness. To trace the Vanguard values highly. Oh, you found the debug system in the simulator. Nicely done. Curiosity and resourcefulness are skills our recruits need. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier six. You clear tier six. No one clears tier six, even with the debug tools should be damn proud of yourself. I've never seen someone reach that tier. Huh. That's incredibly impressive. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and factoring in that you managed to utilize all the tools at your disposal, once you've successfully completed your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only just three years. Guess a top 99th percentile piloting score will do that. 
plus a hefty signing bonus to boot. Not gonna get a better offer than that. Three years? Oh, that's incredible. For some, it can take as long as a decade. You should be incredibly proud. So he comments on your use of it and surprisingly appreciates it rather than punishing you. Your biggest reward is just how impressed they are that you achieved your goal. However, you get 37,600 credits to boot, which is just over triple the amount you get for tier 4. So each tier gives you roughly 11,000 credits at level 40. Not bad. However, what happens if you beat the combat sim on tier 6 without help from the debug menu? Well, let's get to it then. So, looking at the data... Hit every mural in the orientation hall, huh? A test of preparation and thoroughness. To trace the vanguard values highly. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier 6. You? Clear Tier 6. No one clears Tier 6. I should be damn proud of yourself. I've never seen someone reach that tier. <laughs> That's incredibly impressive. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... just three years. Guess a top 99th percentile piloting score will do that. Plus a hefty signing bonus to boot. Not gonna get a better offer than that. Three years? Oh, that's incredible. For some, it can take as long as a decade. You should be incredibly proud. Well, exactly the same as if you use the debug, except it's not mentioned at all. You get the same amount of glory. I was hoping for at least acknowledgement that you didn't need to rely on it. You also get the same amount of credits as a signing bonus, 37,600. So what did we learn? We learned that if you absolutely must beat tier 6 for glory's sake, you should wait until you have a few tech skills invested. The only reward beyond dialogue and making Sarah's engine a little bit more ready to go is a large amount of credits. Now, based on the tier you complete, it takes a different amount of time to get UC citizenship. This is meaningless. It takes a decade for under tier 6, and in tier 6, it takes 3 years. Except you won't need to wait that long either way. You simply blow the UC Vanguard socks off during follow-up missions, and if it's not obvious, you can get your UC citizenship a lot faster. So my recommendation is to complete up to the tier you can, put your pride aside, and continue. The UC Vanguard has some pretty amazing missions to get to, and I think it's more valuable doing those than sticking around and trying to complete tier 6 of the flight exam, which has no impact on the game beyond its initial conversation and reward. So, thanks for watching. And that's everything for now. Let me know your thoughts below. If you have any tips, funny or interesting Starfield related content, be sure to join my Discord and submit them. You may just be featured in a video and every month, the best features will win a game of their choice. I give away a lot of things and those in the community might even win bigger prizes like the Constellation edition of the game and more. So get in and join the conversations. Thank you so much and stay tuned to Dantix for everything Starfield. Ciao friends.